earth magic the earth realm, since time began there has been traditionally four elements which make up the world of the night magician. These are the elements of earth, water, air, and fire. They are symbolic for the basic four worlds of being, that of the physical, earth, emotional, water, mental, air, and causal, fire. The Oversoul must express through each of these realms using the appropriate vehicle or body and ultimately gain mastery over each of them. So, I have divided night magic into four basic realms with knowledge, exercises, and rituals appropriate to each realm. Ultimately, the Oversoul, through you, working in and mastering each realm will have learned all that must be learned here upon earth and return no more. The earth realm is your beginning point in becoming a night magician. I want to take you back to the beginning of time and the origin of the soul. From an understanding of general cosmology, that is the origin of the void, monad slash god soul slash over soul and the soul of humankind, then this will help you to see the whys of a magical evolution and the reasons for being on the night road that follows this magical evolution. There is no beginning to the origin of the void. The void has always been, is now, and ever will be. The void is principle, and manifest, and exists entirely in itself, from itself, and by itself. The void is the potential and and manifest source of all that exists. The void is the life present in all things. It is omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient. From out of the void, the potential and and manifest source, comes the ultimate yin and yang creators. The spirit of the spirits. The ultimate spirits are the first and only creations by the void. The totality of all that the void can be is brought into being in the ultimate spirits. The ultimate spirits derive all potential and essence from the void, the potential and and manifest. The ultimate yin and yang then created twin parallel matrices and so it began. What is now referred to here is also applicable for the ultimate yang. The ultimate yin created beings like unto itself. Each of these beings I will refer to as a monad. Each monad was created in order to share in the joy of creation with the ultimate yin. The eternal night gave to each monad the potential of becoming all that it is. The dark goddess god gave to each monad the essence and potential for expressing the eternal darkness. Each monad evolves into the oneness of the eternal night by actualizing its eternal night's potential. Each monad grows by bringing into manifestation the latent abilities and powers placed within it by the eternal night. Like the eternal night, each monad is given the right of free will to determine how it will do this. The free will of each monad permits it to choose how it will create and what path of evolvement to follow. When the monad chooses to manifest its abilities and powers and to create, the way of interest to you as a night magician is by its descent into matter. The material universe is made up of an infinite number of vibrational energies. The very highest of these energies is the substance upon which the monad first creates. Through the creative power of the monad, acting on the highest vibrational matter, the monad first takes on form. This is not form, as you understand form but something that is beyond your understanding. When the monad first takes on form, it becomes two god souls. The two god souls are true twin souls. They are the magical twins who shall evolve and create together by the will and power of the monad. They each have free will and free choice of their own. Yet all creation that proceeds from them is related. All fragments of their divine spirit which are sent forth to be ensouled in the world of spirit and matter are thus related and united in purpose. In all they do the twin souls are united through the will of the monad. One god soul is predominantly yin with yang and the other is totally yin. This is a simplification of the energy systems but basically these twin god souls now have the creative energies ready to continue downward into material creation. Each god soul has the full potential and essence of the monad and also the free will to use them. Because of the power and high vibrational energies of the god soul it cannot continue its direct descent into matter, thus it created an extension of itself into the lower worlds. This level of presence I have called the Oversoul. The Oversoul is a being of lower vibrational levels. It is very active on its levels in learning and creating and using the potential given to it by the God Soul. Ultimately, the Oversoul must learn to create on the lowest of levels and thus it sends a part of itself into the lowest worlds of form and so is born the soul. The soul is the instrument through which the Oversoul learns about the lowest worlds of creation. The human soul will return to the earth many times, for the human body does not last long. The human soul will return to experience many different lives in order that it might gain all the experience the earth has to teach it. Once the human soul has gained all the experience the oversoul needs then the human soul will move on to different worlds and dimensions in order to gain new experience. The soul gets its life force and direction from the oversoul. This power and will flows through what is called the silver cord. This cord is made up of high energy particles through which flows energy of varying frequencies. The soul operates through a mental, emotional or astral, etheric, and physical body. On earth this is the human body. 
The soul, oversoul and soul is very delicate and composed of very high vibrational energies. If the soul is to grow, develop, and evolve in material creation then it has to have a material vehicle through which to work. You could compare this to a person who wants to go into outer space. Because outer space is very cold, lacks oxygen, and is a vacuum the human body could never withstand going out into space without being protected from it. So a special suit is designed which is heated pressurized, and contains oxygen with which to breathe. It also contains many devices and sensors to work in space and monitor the surroundings. In order to protect the delicate soul from the dense material surroundings, and for it to be able to work in and monitor its surroundings a special suit was devised. This is called the physical body. The physical body is composed of the lowest and densest matter. It is designed to respond and interact with its material surroundings. There are the five senses, sight, touch, smell, taste, and hearing, and their respective organs, eyes, skin, nose, mouth, and ears. These allow the soul to react to the world around it. The hands, arms, legs, feet, and joints allow the soul to work with its surroundings with great dexterity and ability. The physical body is an excellent tool through which the soul to operate, when it is properly attuned and under the control of the oversoul. Unfortunately, for the majority of humankind this is not the case. Too many human beings are the human body instead of the soul and oversoul. The oversoul slash soul is not in charge but it is the human body which is in charge. The human body is basically undisciplined and unruly. Whatever the human body wants it gets and half the time it doesn't really want what it thinks it wants. Without the control of the oversoul slash soul, the body is helpless before the elements of life. The human body has no control over the world around it. Because of this current state, the oversoul slash soul does not pay attention to the human body. It is much like a car out of control. If you were the driver of a car that refused to go where you wanted it to go and was always headed for destinations and wanted and going past places and cared about, you would get out and just let it go till it crashed and burned. This is pretty much what the oversoul slash soul does concerning the human body. But there is a way to change this. You must identify, tune into, and become the oversoul slash soul. You must gain mastery over the physical body. You are the oversoul slash soul and not the physical body. You must remember that you are eternal and only working through the physical body. It is your tool through which to work and experience the material world around you. You cannot allow the passions and desires of the body to rule you. You must develop control over the body. Properly channeled and controlled these forces can be used to your advantage instead of your detriment. You will learn through night magic how to develop this control and mastery. The night magician must attain through discipline, diet, exercise, and ritual mastery over her slash his body and the world around her slash him. But in all trials that occur in your life be easy on yourself. You will fail many times, but get up, dust off your knees, and go on vowing to try and do better. Never give up, for all things are possible to those who follow the night magician's life. The world is but a stage and we are the actors upon it, thus it was said by Shakespeare. This world is but an illusion and your attitude should be that of in it but not of it. You must never become lost in the illusion of the game played by the majority of humankind. You must become the master of illusion, the night magician. Let me discuss with you for a moment the stage upon which we experience life. After many millenniums of experience there is a soul who is qualified to become a planetary soul. The planetary soul is the soul for every person upon that planet. Think of a pie sliced into an incredible number of pieces of pie. The pie, as a whole is the planetary soul and you are one of those pieces of the pie. The earth is the physical body of a very advanced soul who I have told you is the ancient dragon Shyamit. Many of humankind have named this soul, Jaya slash Pan. This name representing the fae slash male aspect of the earth soul. Every human being is a part of the soul of Earth. Moreover every part of our human body, that is causal, mental, emotional, etheric and physical is directly affected by the Earth's soul. Our entire existence is constantly affected by the energies of 